Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from Revival today, June 19th. And this was June 20th, 1915. A local church, Baptist, that we should be to praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. And that's Ephesians 1.12. On June 20, 1915, Blaine Myron Cedarholm was born. His dad led singing in revival meetings often, and Cedarholm, hearing the gospel early in life, was saved at the age of four. From that moment on, it seemed that he was destined to be a preacher of the gospel. No doubt he could have done other things. Blessed with tremendous size and physical strength, he won a letter in four sports at the University of Minnesota, football, swimming, boxing, and track. As a fullback for the Gophers, he won All-American honors in his senior year. Dr. Cedarholm was a rapid-fire preacher who could say more in an hour than most could say in a week of revival services. After receiving his theological training in Philadelphia, he pastored in the city for five years before traveling as an evangelist for the next 20 years. During that time on the road, he was instrumental in seeing nearly 1,000 churches planted across the United States. As a conservative Baptist convention began to drift, Dr. Cedarholm took his stand and became an independent Baptist. His passion was now training the next generation of preachers, which he did faithfully at Pillsbury Baptist Bible College in Alwatana, Minnesota, and at Maranatha Baptist Bible College in Watertown, Wisconsin. He was known as a Baptist with a capital B. He was unwavering in his stand for the principles that distinguish Baptist churches as New Testament churches. His life and legacy continued to influence his preacher boys to this day, as his desire was to live for the praise of God's glory, nothing less. Are you living to that end today? Are you standing for biblical truth? Are you faithful to a New Testament local church? Stand where God and the Bible stand. You will never go wrong, and you will live your if you will live your life for the praise of His glory. All right. Well, uh, sound like an interesting gentleman, no doubt. Probably some people would say, oh, no, he's Baptist. I, I remember reading where Charles Spurgeon's mother, he told her that he had gotten saved in a Baptist church. She said, Charles, I always wanted you to be a Christian, but I never wanted you to be a Baptist. <laughs> this song's called Journey to the Sun, and, and uh, it speaks of that as well. This is a song that Doyle Lawson recorded with what I think is, is still one of the best singers and he's had a lot of them one of the best singers that he ever had uh, on stage with him was uh, john bowman and uh, he always does a great job we've had him some at the church there and always he just he's a great fella so we'll give this song a shot today on a fire and brimstone baptist view my back against the wall I convinced myself I'd cut and run when it came to water call. But on this night things were different. That old preacher spoke of grace. And for those who dared to taste it, they would see the master's face. Nature and every word he uttered just seemed to pierce my heart. For the first time there was a ring of truth resounding in the dark. When I felt the Spirit move me, I knew my time had come. On a tearful trip I started my journey to the sun. Now nothing sounds so sweet as the sound of pilgrim's feet. On the narrow way that blesses all who and the peace that I found is like no other on my journey to the sun. Oh, the tribulations of this world have dogged my every step. 
Many times I beg for mercy by the bed where I have slept. In his love my plea is granted, by his strength I overcome. With his guiding hand I resume my journey to the sun. Now nothing sounds so sweet as the sound of pilgrim's feet. On the narrow way the blesses all who come. And the peace that I found is like no other. On my journey to the sun And the peace that I found is like no other On my journey to the sun Lord, I thank you for uh, the day that you've given us. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to look uh, into the lives of those who have served you and and maybe it's not um, Maybe it wasn't the way or the fashion or the style that others would have uh, Done it in their life But the folks who have given everything to you and sincerely tried to work for you and win lost souls God we need more people like that today. I pray that you would bless, Lord, encourage and strengthen those that hear this today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Um, if, of course, if you watch tonight, as far as I know, I'll be preaching tonight at our uh, home church, and then uh, we'll be back here uh, tomorrow. So have a great day. See you Thursday.